Hey, my name is Eric. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a VPN on your iPhone. There are typically two ways that most people are looking to do this. It might be trying to manually set it up so you can access your works VPN, or you're trying to set up a personal VPN for yourself so that you can be more private and secure with what you're doing online. The first one I'm gonna show you is manually if you're trying to set up through a work VPN. So what we're gonna do first is click the settings icon. So you're actually seeing my screen right now that I'm gonna put up on the screen. I'm gonna show you a couple iPhone hacks as well through this video if you're curious on how to do that. I'm gonna scroll down and click on general. Now we're gonna scroll down again and click on VPN. So I have a few set up right now, but for you it's probably gonna be empty. So what you're gonna do is click on add VPN configuration. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the type here at the top. And now there are three currently on the iPhone. This will change in the future. These are always changing services. But as of right now, IKE V2 is considered to be the fastest and most secure connection. If you're curious, that stands for Internet Key Exchange version two. And the two services beneath that actually work on version one of that same key exchange. Now, if we go back, the information that you're going to need, I'm going to highlight on the screen right now. So that is what you're going to need. What I would recommend is a really simple thing you can do is double tap the back of your iPhone. And what that'll do is create a screenshot. And that is something you could send to your IT professional. And if you haven't gotten the information from your IT professional, you can say, hey, what information do I need on this page? Please send me that information. Now, I'll also show you at the end of this video on how you can set up that double tap feature because that can be pretty handy. Now, if I go back to the VPN I've already set up and I hit this info button here, uh, what I'm going to do is show you if I click on edit exactly what that information looks like. This is a dummy VPN that I found online to be able to connect to to show you all the information that you are going to need. If you would like, I will create a screenshot of this as well and put this in the description below so you can send this to your IT professional and say, hey, this is the information information I need, what is it? <laughs> so once you have that information entered, it's as simple as just toggling these functions and just clicking connect and that'll connect you to your VPN through your work. So quick tip, and this may come in handy if you're trying to communicate with an IT professional at work about your iPhone, is if you click the settings icon and you go down to the control center, and what you see at the top there is included controls as screen recording. For you, it's most likely gonna be down at the bottom with more controls down here. And if you add it by clicking one of the green buttons, what it's gonna do is when you pull down in the upper right-hand corner of your control center, this is what your control center looks like. Here you're gonna see that red dot is blinking. When you click that dot, then you'll be able to record your screen. If you click and hold it, then you can record your screen with audio as well. This is really helpful for just creating quick video files if you're trying to work through something on your iPhone or just share information just like I'm doing in this video as well. Now, as you can see, I do have NordVPN set up on this phone as well. If you go with a personal VPN provider such as them or one of the other services out there, it is a great idea just for protecting yourself and making things more secure on your end, especially if you're gonna go into public Wi-Fi areas. Now, you may have noticed I listed this as paid promotion. NordVPN did not pay me to make this video. Now, I do have an affiliate link though in the description below, and that is how I support my YouTube channel. So if you do sign up, what you can do is go through that link to receive the best possible promotion. Now, the reason I like NordVPN over some of the other other alternatives is they have a no log VPN service policy. That means they will never log any of your information. Now, the interesting thing about that is once you are set up with an account and you go into reports over here, is that they actually share the reports that show that they're not logging any information that you have. Because it kind of defeats the purpose of having a VPN if they are logging that information, which some VPN services do. I'm gonna show you how you can set up with them. Again, if you use the link in the description below, it'll open up NordVPN just like this. And whatever the latest deal is you'll be able to grab that through their website so now you're looking at three different plans you can choose from obviously the cheaper monthly one is more of a commitment versus the most expensive which is one month so that's up to you uh, you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee though um, these two right here I tend to skip over these uh, reason being is I use Google for uh, password storage which is free and then also uh, for Google if you use Google drives uh, storage I believe it's two dollars a month that it costs me and it's like two terabytes or something crazy uh, I know it's a lot more than 10 gigabytes I'll put it on screen with that is but you'd continue to payment and then you'd simply just enter your payment any discount that you'd have is automatically applied based on what's going on then and then once you have all this information in it's as simple as just downloading the app from the app store which you can see has great reviews and then once you have the app installed then you log in with the same account information that you're going to enter on this page of the site uh, then at that point it's as simple as just opening up the app and clicking connect and you're ready to go and you have a personal VPN set up on your phone 
the cool thing about the app is it's very easy to use. I really love the service so far. And again, I thank you guys for using my link in the description below. And uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful as well. So another quick iPhone hack that I mentioned earlier is the double tap of the back of your phone to take a screenshot. The way you do that and set that up is if you go to settings, and then what you're gonna do is go down to accessibility, and then we're gonna go to touch, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and then back tap. And so you can see that right now I have double tap and that's gonna do a screenshot. Uh, triple tap if you wanted, you can see some of the other things that I could do as well. Uh, if I wanted to access, you know, spotlight, volume down, volume up, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do just by tapping the back of your phone. Hey guys, if you wanna see more iPhone tips, you can click this video right here and that's gonna walk you through a bunch of cool hacks that you can use on your iPhone. And again, thank you for using my affiliate link in the description below as it helps to support my YouTube channel. Sincerely, I truly appreciate it. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next video.